Thanks, Tom. After years of families calling for the release of body cam footage of officer involved deaths and demands from city council members, DC Mayor Bowser released the videos of three police involved incidents today and in all three cases the officers were cleared. It comes a week after she signed the emergency police reform bill. Jess Arnold joins us now live from DC Police Headquarters with more on this story. Jess. Yeah, Leslie, this is one of the provisions in the D.C. Council's emergency police reform legislation that they passed about two months ago now and that the mayor, as you mentioned, signed last week. Now, as you also said, families and activists have been lobbying for the release of this body camera footage for years. And as of today, they can now view some of those videos in three separate officer involved deaths, all from 2018, two of them shootings and one what police call a preventable accident. The mayor today made body camera footage from three different officer involved deaths available for the public to see. The edited videos show police explanations of the incident and portions of the footage. In these shots from May 2018, Jeffrey Price collides with a police car that Chief Peter Newsham said had run a red light and was killed by the impact. That same month, police say Daquan Young was shot to death by an off duty cop after they say he pulled out a gun. And in June 2018, an officer shot Marquise Austin to death after police say he ran from them and then started shooting. Here's Mayor Bowser on why she did not release the videos two years ago, as some families demanded. Based on recommendations, based on how we thought public justice would be served, um, we did not release the video. We are releasing the video today. I think sometimes people think that in viewing the body worn camera footage that it's going to tell the whole story. Um, and it doesn't. Marquise Austin's mom calls this a PR stunt that still leaves her questions unanswered. The family's lawyer says this is not enough. These two minutes of footage don't resolve anything for her. Miss Austin is incredibly disappointed that this is MPD's response to reform. Councilmember Trayon White knew Marquise Austin personally and was a major advocate for the reform bill. We are in a, headed in the right direction. We're not where we need to be, but I'm proud as a city that we're taking some efforts to display transparency. To the families, Police Chief Peter Newsham offered condolences. I can't even begin to imagine uh, how the families feel uh, to have to watch the video of the loss of the life of a loved one. On the second part, uh, the council has uh, determined that this is uh, the statute that's the law of the land and we're going to abide by it. In all three cases, the U.S. Attorney's Office declined to prosecute and the use of force board determined it was warranted in the two shootings. Now on the DC police website, it does say that there are future videos that will be coming out at a later date. Now, Ms. Austin and Jeffrey Price's uncle said that they did not give consent for this footage to be released, but our team ended up speaking with the deputy mayor earlier today, who said that they did have a conversation with the Price family's lawyer to get that consent and that the city assumed consent unless they had received written or an oral objection. Now, both of those families are still involved in an ongoing lawsuit against the city. Now, my colleague Lorenzo Hall has been speaking to families throughout the day. You'll hear from them at six o'clock. I'll send it back to you.